This is Shannon Lanier here at the headquarters of Team Nick, and I'm standing behind the one and twos with the one and only <laughs> Nick Cannon, actor, Greetings. comedian, DJ, and All also that. businessman. Yes, sir. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, man. Now, speaking of being a businessman, a lot of people know you for being behind the ones and twos right here right. or being on stage telling jokes. Right. But tell us about some of the business ventures you're in. So many. Uh, I've, I've always called myself an entrepreneur, uh, so, okay. someone who's just taking this entertainment game and tried to find different business avenues to get in other than just a normal, you know, actor or comedian or musician. So, I, I mean, I, I own a couple of clothing lines, uh, a lot of stuff that people don't know about when it comes to, you know, publishing companies and, and things behind the scenes when it comes to writing scripts and production companies and things of that nature too. So it, the, the list is long when it comes to the type of businesses I'm in. Now you're also the chairman here at T Nick. Yes. And you also have another, your main umbrella business that you're doing. I also have my own entertainment company called Incredible Entertainment, which literally is, I, mean, I know everyone has a multimedia company today, but uh, I designed it in a way to where there is a, a record label arm, there's mm -hmm. a management arm, there's, uh, we have a straight you know, film and television division as well as a, a marketing division as well. So it's literally a conglomerate. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. <laughs> now, since you're so young, you just turned 30. Happy birthday. Yes, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you. Have you ever come into challenges with people not maybe taking you seriously because of your age? Absolutely. Uh, and, you know, I use my age as an advantage, but at the same time, it can be a disadvantage in many different scenarios. A lot of times people are saying, oh, that's just a young kid doing this, or that's somebody who has some money and doesn't yeah. really know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. So uh, sometimes I got to step in there and, and be a shark about it and let people know that, hey, don't let the stuff that you know or that you think you know of me, uh, the TV shows and all that silliness fool you. I'm a businessman and I've always been a businessman. So what comes first, entertainer or entrepreneur? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's a tough one. Ah, oh, man. I'd have to say entrepreneur definitely okay. comes first. You know, okay. make sure the bills are paid and then we can crack jokes. And then it'll be funny once you got the check. Right? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Have my money, then I'll bring the funny. So, <laughs> you talk about being a shark sometimes. What advice do you give to young entrepreneurs that are coming up and have to be play that role because people want to walk over them? Yeah, I'd always say, I, I, I kind of give out the same advice about one first being a self motivator getting out there and because there are so many naysayers there's so many haters there's so many people that are going to say you can't do this there's so many uh people who love to poke holes in everyone's ideas mm. that you have to build yourself up every day you have to be the one to say no this idea is brilliant this mm -hmm. will happen this is gonna that you know speaking it into existence yeah. and then you got to have a corresponding action which is the second thing being a self generator not waiting on someone to give you an opportunity you got to step out there and literally make something out of nothing create it if you want it be it live it walk it generate it nice i'm, I'm claiming it right now yeah absolutely <laughs> you got so, to do you think that that's one of the keys to success or it has been for you just claiming it and speaking it into existence yeah walking the walk man mm -hmm. being about it even it you know even that idea of faking it till you make it i mean mm -hmm. that's what hip-hop was built on you right know, you think about it you got to really step out on it and, and when others are gonna say, nah, you can't do it, say, mm -hmm. nah, it can be done. It just hasn't been done before and I'll be the first to do it. Okay, so a little insight to you. What have you faked until you made it? <laughs> so many things. I mean, <laughs> even the fact, uh, speaking this job into yeah. existence. I remember being 17 years old saying, I wanna be, uh, I wanna run this company one day. Mm -hmm. And you know, here I am, I wanted, uh, all those things. I wanted a, my own record label. I wanted my own company. I wanted to be a businessman. Mm -hmm. And I used to, you know, being in high school, I was mm -hmm. claiming that I had a record label when yeah. I was just, you know, had two turntables in my bedroom type nice. of thing. Spinning it. Absolutely. To even yeah. in my personal life, mm -hmm. you know, telling people one day I was going to marry Mariah Carey and everybody laughed at me. See, I said that too, but it <laughs> happened for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, I, I was my I was speaking mine a little hard. Okay, that's what it was. No, no, <laughs> it was that corresponding it. action I was talking about. You that's gotta right. walk that's it. That's all right. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, one last question. Just you know, as far as advice goes for young people that are trying to do things, you know, you doing all these things, you had to have some mentor. And what advice can you give for young people about mentors like who are some of yours and what they've helped you overcome? 
I'm a true believer in to whom much is given, much is required. And that's why I feel like I need to be a mentor. Not necessarily a role model because a role is something you play. And I always say uh, you got to be real. So I'm, mm -hmm. I consider myself a real model. I'm always be real. Uh, and people have shown me that over the years. Uh, and there, there are some great uh, wise men in our community mm -hmm. still. And I feel like people don't take advantage of tapping into those resources of people like Harry Belafonte mm -hmm. and Sidney Poitier and uh, Quincy Jones, all yeah. of those type of people who are still okay. here who have done it, who have paved the way mm -hmm. and have uh, accumulated so much knowledge and information mm -hmm. and they have it and we just got to go in there and tap it and get it. All right, well, I appreciate you kicking the knowledge uh, to us right here today. Anytime, it's All my right. duty. And make sure you check out Nick Cannon's full interview this weekend on Black Enterprise Business Report.